this thing. You're in trouble for tearing up my shit. Let me see if this works. I don't know. Let me see if this works. Who knows if this will work. You're in trouble for tearing up my shit. I fucking hate you guys. Let me just make something work for once. God's a fat fuck. Everybody's a fucking dumbass. Everyone on earth. It's so dumb. Does it work? Can you tell me if it works? The whole planet is stupid. I, I don't even, it, are you saying I'm good? Can you speak regular English? It working? Oh, thank you. There we go. I appreciate that. My dog shit all over my house. Live shit. Live regressed. And shit. All over the, all over the house. Like, like in in a in a way that she had never done before, in a shitty way she had never shitted before. And I was I I don't even know what to like because what I want to do was chop her fucking butthole off, but that'll make it worse. Hold on. And I'm so excited for sex ed class. Like like when I walked in at the door there was shit. Luckily I closed all of the doors. Um, and upstairs, everybody's door, every door. And, uh, so I think she was mad, man. I think she was fucking mad. Oh, we build bitches up. That's what build a bitch is. Build a bitch workshop is a workshop, um, is a self-help workshop. So what I do is I teach you basic life skills. So like the, the last class, we did nothing. She's scared. She keeps running from me and hollering. Nothing. Because I know if I touch her, I'm going to kill her. But um, I, she's in. And you know what it is? She ate the couch cushion. I kept telling her not to. And that's why she's shitting everywhere. Now she's mad in the room. Because she's not allowed. And then Brunhilde bit her. And that's. I can't handle that. Um, but uh, Brunhilde. If I yell at Liv, Brunhilde will bite her. Yep. And it's like, that's her baby. Like, I'll oh, punish her and, and bite her. I gotta be like, please stop biting my baby. Um, but anyway, Build a Bitch Workshop is just a self-help workshop. So like last class, we went over money management. Basic life skills you need to know. Uh, the, or we went, over, we went over diet and exercise last class um, and clean eating. Then before that, it was money management. Then before that, it was building a foundation in mental health. Like building a, a good foundation for, live, for life. Like, um, like my parents should have given me, but they didn't. Um, the first one was cleaning your body properly and washing your ass. And today is a sex ed. I have to use my little microphone because my phone updated and I was going crazy. But I charged this, so it should work. Can I put it right here? Also, because it's sex ed class, I figured that um, uh, Tamu, my Tamu order came in. <laughs> Remember when I ordered that blue thing? I said, I'm going to order this one. This is, this, Tamu has... Tamu's trying to get people bang. It's okay. It's I saw some of it. I saw some of what you were saying. It was so much shit. And then I chased her because what I do with Liv, I grab her and I show her her poop and I go, no, you don't do that. But every time I do that, Brunhilda attacks her and then Liv freaks out. And I keep having, it's just a mess. It's always a disaster. Liv will holler like somebody raping her. Like shit. Join the club, Liv. God. Jesus. You ain't special? Lord. She distresses me. Oh, I forgot my water. I'm also cooking their chicken. Right, buddies. Lives imaginary, right, buddies. Hold on. Let me get to. This is my favorite class. This is my favorite class. Hello, everybody. It wouldn't be a build a bitch workshop if it or anything Diamond does if it didn't start off fucked up, right? And start off stupid. Yeah, last class was was clean eating and oh, last class was clean eating and mental health. So this one, oh, this is my favorite class. It's the only thing I'm good at. Getting laid. Okay. Um, let me go get my 
Oh, and, and we have our, our surprise guest, Billy. Say hi, Billy. She's our, our substitute teacher for the day for, for Sess Ed class. Yay. Liv is in, in under under the desk upset. And Brunhilde, I don't know what she's doing. I, let me go get the rest of my stuff, though. You see? This is fucking Temu. This is what Temu sent me. So I figured I'd wear it for sex ed class. Why not? Why not? It's quite, um, it's great for streaming. I'd never wear it anywhere else, though, ever in life. Even I'm not that much of a hoe. Are you mad, Liv? The audacity of you to shit and then step in shit and jump on my bed. Yo, fuck you, Liv. Get out of my, wow. Stay now. Stay there. No, you don't have to, you don't have to come with me. You can stay right where you are. Why would you step on my bed? Why would you do that? I'm not even, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's just rude. That's what rude people do is step on people's beds with shit on their feet. Where's mommy's water bottle? Oh, there it is. Bro, Hilda, can I just say I appreciate you for being such a good dog? Can we just say that? Let me get more water before I get sick. Oh, there's water in there. You run away. Don't get off of the thing. Learn lessons. Move, Liv. Here. Wait. Wait. Ooh, ooh, Taimu. All right. Brunhilde, go ahead. You're so wonderful. Uh-uh, Liv. You're going to sit in this one. Go ahead. You better get up there. Get up there. No, get up there. Get up there. Liv, you're 5'5". Five, five. You're my height. Just step. Thank you. Good. Okay. Bro, right? Because I, I never knew it was going to be this short. The pictures look different. It's okay. Let me pee. Oh, you guys can hear me pee. Sorry. You're not supposed to hear me pee. Here. Listen to Brunhilde. Okay, that's crazy because I just realized I had the microphone on while you guys were um while you guys were listening to me scold Liz for shitting in my bed. She just well she didn't shit in my bed. She ran around in the shit trying to get away from Brunhilda, and now there's boo boo on my bed. Oh, she is cute. Yeah, her is. You could be cute too if you wouldn't cover yourself in shit. Yeah. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just on your face. I'm sorry. Thank you. Can I have my chair, please? Okay, we're sharing. Sharing is caring. Can you sit? Can you sit? I, I don't want to pet you. I don't. And I very rarely say that to a dog. I'll pet you. But just know that I don't want to be doing this. Because you shit all over my house. And it was so fucked up. The whole house. And I'm downstairs making you food right now. You know you could be eating kibble. No, uh, no it's a, well, kind of. It's a, uh, I couldn't find anything to fit her. So it's like a, it's what, the shirt I wore yesterday. I just wrapped it around her and covered her up. <laughs> Why not? It's sex education. She needs to look, well, look, she's already, all her assets are already up there. And then after we do this, we're going to play Wo Long. I mean, not Wo Long, uh, Neo 2. I don't know why I still have Wo Long on the brain. So I also borrowed a condom so I can show you guys how to put a condom on properly. I think we did that last year. This year, eating my chair. This year, we're going to use my sword, my big sword. So you guys know it. It's scratchy. Mm. 
Just time and time again, people are always saying, I can't put a condom on because my dick's too big and it won't fit. What bottle? My water bottle? Yes. So I will show you that a condom can stretch, maybe not this long, but this wide. Yay. Okay. So we'll start with our, our song. Shit, where's my song? Okay. Yay. It doesn't matter rhyme or reason. It doesn't matter day or season. Cause all I really know is that I'm a rich bitch now. Or I'm a famous condom creator dreamer now. Yay. Wealthy. Oh, that's a strong one. This is a new one. I tried to nap. It didn't work. I only had three hours of sleep last night. Because of her. She jumps on and off the bed to slap me for no reason. And she had horrible gas. They do make extra small condoms for extra small penises. Um, but if you don't, if you do end up accidentally getting one, yes, that can cut your circulation off. But still, um, you can always, and they're, they're more expensive now than they used to be. But you doing Brunhilde it stretches enough for like maybe one one interaction just don't regularly cut off your circulation with that can you move hello buddy I can't see who that is your your blue is weird oh mr. maniac oh oops I'm covering that okay mr. maniac hi this is build a bitch workshop where we learn stuff uh, I didn't, I didn't make them wear one because in my, I remember I was on drugs back then and in my head, it was no point, even though you could still get pregnant with a micro dick. But in my head, I was like, but I did have somebody that did also have a very small one and put a condom on and it was a baggie. So that's when I learned that they make extra small condoms for extra small penises. And there's no shame in that. I'd never seen a baggy condom before. So anyway, welcome to Build a Bitch Workshop. Today we're going to learn about, um, uh, get out of my brain. We're going to learn about, uh, we're going to learn sex ed. That's what we're doing today. I was up early today, so forgive me if I make a lot of mistakes because I'm not supposed to be grooming dogs anymore. But for whatever reason, God is a cunt. Okay? What's the first part to getting, getting any type of sex? Consent. That's the first part to getting any type of sex ever or anything. Consent goes, uh, Consent is not just for sex. Consent applies to anything. A lot of people only talk about it in regards to sex. But if you try to force somebody to do something they don't want to do, to me, you just mind rape them. And that's the same fucking thing. I think Kanye said something like that recently, but this is annoying. I got a bathing suit on under this and I will take this off. Um, so we could just say consent, period. Uh, no, I don't have a sperm, sperm donor at the moment. I don't want one at the moment, but if I need one, um, I will open applications. Um, na, 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 na. So we're going to go over consent. We're going to go over uh, foreplay. We're going to go over different sex positions. And then I think in here I put, what did I say? I put in, oh, STDs. STDs is important. Um, and. Da, 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 da. 10 good sex tips, uh, BDSM stuff, and then tantric sex at the end. It's supposed to be a super long class today. We will see how much we can get through. If we have to continue it next week, we can, but I think we'll be fine. That's an easy way to do it. You can do, is this okay? Do you like this? There's people like me, though, that don't. I just, I'm going to tell you ahead of time exactly what I want. I'm very forward. Then there's people that are not forward at all, and you have to ask. Then there's people that don't want to speak at all, and they're just going off of vibes. So you can, yes is yes. Here's this quick guide to consent. Yes is yes. No is no. Uh, blacked out drunk, and you're not blacked out drunk is no. Asleep without consent beforehand is no. That's simple, right? Um, but of course, there's gray areas everywhere. So unable to answer would be a no. I was just about to say that. And under the influence is a no, but 
I record everything ahead of time. And I would recommend telling them you're recording just for your purposes, um, just for your safety purposes. And um, then recording all the interactions leading up and honestly, not even just leading up, but in, uh, in the actual act of sex too. You could delete it right after, maybe wait a week or something, maybe wait a month. I would just categorize it and save it somewhere. But because uh, too many people, especially when they're drunk, I remember two different cases where they were both drunk and one party then regretted it the next day. And this is pretty rare, but it does happen. One party regretted it the next day because it was recorded and everybody saw it. And she said, oh, he raped me. And it was, it, Philip DeFranco even covered it. And he was like, no, there's cameras everywhere. So thanks, buddy. So um, everybody can see that that's a no. But I, because there were cameras, that's what saved him. So I recommend everybody just having cameras in their home. And if you're fucking in a car, have a camera in your car. That way it doesn't look like you're creating a porno. It's just, um, it's just, um, uh, it's just like, oh, webcam sex, you know, like that way it doesn't look like you're really, you're really doing anything kind of freaky. Don't go back and watch it later unless you get consent for that. I think that would be weird. It's, I've seen it in movies and it doesn't happen that much in real life, but there was one very popular case years ago. I think, was I living here? I think I was living here. Yeah, because Philip DeFranco covered it, and I used to watch him on the TV, like the big TV downstairs. And um, the girl, there was a, there was like multiple videos of the man and the woman making out while they were both drunk. And um, because she was embarrassed, she tried to say he raped her, but everybody covered that. I mean, everybody uh, had recorded it. So she looked like a dumbass, and that saved him. Because I feel like if you get accused of a rape allegation, you need to go do the same amount of jail time that um, you were going to give that man or woman. Most women don't get accused of rape allegations, but if it happens, I'm sure it happens somewhere. Okay. Now, if you can't, if you don't go off of the, or if you're still not sure after the verbal answer, they have nonverbal communication cues like uh, skin blushing. Um, your whole body will flush and be warm because you're excited. Um, you'll be kissing and breathing hard. Um, your nipples will get hard. Now this, now this can happen if somebody doesn't give consent. So you want both, but um, you'll get wet. They'll get hard. Um, yeah, they'll grind on you. Different things like that. That way you can tell. Yeah, they said yeah, but are they also doing these things? You know. This is going to be our penis for the day. Not for, not for her. Her, I tried to put uh, uh, the, my little toy in her yesterday for the, for the Build-A-Bitch Mini. Or was it the day before? No, it was yesterday. And it got stuck. So, because she wasn't lubricated. So, because remember, tight does not, does not always mean good. Tight sometimes means just dry. So, if you're always saying it's tight and everybody's tight, no, I asked her. Yes, I did. I recorded myself asking her too. Remember? Or you might not have watched it. No, I didn't rate Billy. I recorded myself asking her and she gave consent in her own way because her nipples were really hard. She just, some people just don't always get wet. She responded in my mind. Yeah, it's one of these ones. It's the sex ed one. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Billy have a vibe connection, okay? I know what she says. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I'm so mad that I had to get up early this morning. I don't want to be up early. So also some more nonverbal cues. Cues, your legs will open or their legs will open. Um, I'm sorry, it looks crazy. Uh, their body, their whole body will start to like arch into you. Um, kissing, grinding, their voice will deepen. Like it's, it is. And I just, I don't want to be grooming, but because God is a big fat bitch, and won't stop annoying the shit. Actually, I love the dog I was grooming today, though. But, like, he won't stop annoying the shit out of me. I couldn't get any sleep. I hate him, and I can't wait to get up there to whoop his ass. And I appreciate all of y'all that are coming with me. Now, you could do what Blue-Eyed Marcus did. Um, he started with a full-body massage. He, I was naked. He was not. 
And he said, no, I just want to massage you. That's a great way to get consent. Because if they say no to the massage, probably don't fuck that person. Unless they're just ticklish. But probably be like, you know what? You're not really into it and that's okay. And if they're nervous, but they do want to fuck you, then the massage will relax them. He also asked, are you okay? Or is this okay? Like Mr. Canicula, um, what are you into? Also, these are conversations you should have before because communication is the most important part of sex. Um, what are you into? Don't, as much as I tell men that they should practice milking their prostate and putting pinkies in their asses, you don't ever surprise somebody with that. Those are things you need to ask before you have sex with this person before you and you never do it the first time i don't i know a couple people that i told you the um, a friend of mine his girlfriend did that to him not with a pinky with a strap on extremely rough and i told him i said that's rape he said i know i said okay so are we going to the jailhouse or are we going to court or you need somebody beat her up like what do you nothing you know it's okay okay and i understand that that you know I don't know how he didn't uh, donkey kick the shit out of her, but hey, but you don't do that. It's rape, and if it's not rape, it's at the very least wrong, but I would consider it rape. Um, ask them if they have toys. Um, yeah, and it's horrible because it, then your partner doesn't trust you, and then they don't trust anybody else after that. So you potentially ruin a wonderful experience for somebody because you want it to be a cunt, and I think that's fucked up. Ouch. Also, before you have sex, remember to have protection. So they have different types of protection, not just for babies. They have, um, he didn't, he kept that secret until he told me. Because for whatever people, for whatever reason, people always are really comfortable telling me stuff. And I'm okay. I mean, I don't tell nobody. Well, I, I tell people, but not everybody. And I never will tell the name of the person that tell me. I'll just go, my friend, this person I know. Um, I'm horrible at keeping secrets unless I have to, though. But uh, he just, he basically, what he said was, we had a horrible, exp I had a horrible experience because he didn't want to say rape. And I understand, like, it's very sensitive to a lot of people. I got backhanded for, for not communicating that I was going to snowball someone, which is when you spit their own semen into their mouth, as I should have. That was non-consent, too. That was rape, too. It was mouth rape because that shit was fucking wrong. You don't do that. And I and you know what? I also in my head, I said, he's probably not going to fuck with this. But I thought it was funny. It's not funny. But I was young and an asshole. Um, anyway. Oh, I, I Googled some t different types of pers uh, different types of protection. Oh, I got hair on my arm. How do you how do you click it if it's in a thing? Oh. This is almost the same one that we did last year, but we didn't finish this one last year. No, yes, we did. We were doing the Barbie cosplay, and then I had to redo it, remember? Oh, did it open? Did I click it? Control? I kind of already know most of the methods of protection, though. Condoms, I'll show you how to put it on in a minute. Um, uh, and then the birth control ones, the pill. Never trust anybody that says they're on the pill to be on the pill. Please, but what's that? Did you see that? Who did that? Did someone do that? What was that? Did you see that? Am I tripping? Oh! <laughs> That's cool! I didn't know you could do that. I've never seen that. I felt like a real streamer. Um, I've seen them on the real streams. Oh my God. That's our first real streamer moment. It's coming. Stop cussing out God, Diamond. It's coming. Oh, right. Y'all food is in the oven. They still got 30 more minutes anyway. Um, okay, so they have the IUDs that they go up in your vagina. They have the, uh, the shots. Um, I think they have male birth control pills now. I don't know. That was cool, though. We've never seen that. I've never seen that on here. I guess because I'm doing it on my phone and people um uh it's not like it's on my playstation but i'm actually streaming from my phone so because i can't see any of the other buttons that's neat i never knew I, I we are real stream this is what it's gonna be like we can do this 
Um, they have the implants. I think they put the implant in your arm too. Uh, la, la, la. They have, no, this one sucks. The, the progesterone pills, those suck. They have the other pills, uh, estrogen and progest progestogen. That sucks too. Um, it makes you fat. The birth control pill a lot of times makes you fat. That's why I didn't take it. Let's see. Oh, and the vaginal ring, that's the one I was forgetting. And it just, it's a ring that just sits up there, but they say you get horrible cramps from it. So, and a diaphragm, that one goes into the woman. Yeah, same as the internal condom. So there's lots of different, why are people, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Some, oh, sorry. Somebody, somebody messaged me to bother me for no reason. I hate when people bother me. Sorry. Only people would have to bother me, Justin and TJ, and y'all. So somebody random messaged me. I always get random messages from some country that I don't give a fuck about. And no offense to that country. I don't, I don't really know where it is. It's a different one. And they go, hey, do you want this? No. No. And now I want to call Trump to bomb your fucking country because you're bothering me when I'm doing stuff. Um, and then there's other, there's other permanent methods. There's t having your tubes, tubes tied and getting a vasectomy, but they say that you can reverse both of those and they're not as permanent as you say. I think it's a bot. Um, and then they have the calendar tracking method, which is stupid as fuck because you can get pregnant any day, but okay. They have, um, fertility apps, which is stupid as hell, but okay. Um, but none of that all is, and then they have the pullout method. And that all is just for pregnancy. The only one that protects against STDs and pregnancy other than not having sex is condoms. So let's put a condom on our sword today. Okay? Ow, that hurt. It's a big sword. Billy, I'm going to put a condom on before I, um, I don't know why I kept her name Billy. It worked out. It worked out great. Please, by the way, I've had people try to be really sexy opening the condom with their mouth. First of all, it tastes nasty, and I can see that on your face. And second of all, um, you might puncture it with your teeth like a goofball. There's people that think that too because the semen falls out. And it, I understand the logic, but it's also so stupid. It kind of makes you be like, really? You really thought that was going to? Okay. But I get the logic behind it. Like, well, what goes up must come down. That's what everybody says. Yep. Especially when you're young. So. First thing you do before you have sex, get your, get your consent. Second thing is get your protection. Here's how you could put a condom on. I opened it with my teeth, but don't do that. Okay, this is what it looks like. Looks like a little, um, looks like candy, I think. One side, please stop putting them on backwards. Look, it's okay to accidentally do it, but I know way too many people that really be trying to force these on backwards. So, one side has the, um, has the roll and then the other side doesn't. And if you look at it, the way this thing is pointed, that's the, that's the tip your dick's supposed to go into. So I wonder what side we're gonna do this in. Let's try this side, okay? Oh, it ripped. <laughs> See, it broke. <laughs> okay, well, this is an old condom. Hmm. I have another one. I, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. It didn't, oh my God, it, it's really cheap. This is, okay. Well, they normally stretch to about this. Here you go. Pretend the tip is on. They normally stretch to about this fucking wide. What's wrong with the tip of that one? See, it should be able to do that. See? Oh, oh, it's because I stabbed it. It's okay. You want me to get, let me get the other one and try the other side. Is this side too bad? Should I just use it? I don't want to use a cucumber. I like the cucumber. I only have one left. And I like to, um, I try to, uh, I try to, I, I want to eat it. Hold on. Na, 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 na. Okay. You know what? I don't have anything phallic shaped. Here we go. All right, I have a friend of mine that's about this girth. Oh, that'll happen too. Also, make sure you bring your own condoms because some people, see how easy they open, you don't have to use their teeth. Some people 
um, will poke holes in condoms, and especially if they think or know you have money, and try to get pregnant. So remember, okay, the way it pokes out, hold on, the way it pokes out is the tip that it goes in. So it should look like this. Hmm, maybe this way. Are you gonna work? Oh, shit. Okay, I think this will work. This is probably more like a magnum, but there we go. There we go. And then you can just, ro fuck. Then you can just roll it like that. You can just roll it. See? See how big this thing is? And how far and this condom stretches? Did it break? Nope, it's still on there. And then what, uh, what some men like to do is pinch the tip just a little bit to make sure. There you go. That's fucking, oh, it did break. Okay, I thought it did. Well, you got the gist of how to put a condom on. Make sure you get the right size. I didn't think I need to get any magnums. I didn't think, I, didn't, I don't have any magnums. God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll do, uh, you know what? We'll do a whole class on putting condoms on different size things. I think that would be great. I mean, a build a bitch mini on, on condoms. Throw this in the trash. I told you guys the story of, oh my God. <laughs> I accidentally outed myself to arch nemesis because keto ate a condom and shit it out. And arch nemesis was like, whose is that? And I was like, he found it outside. Now that actually did happen to Brunhilde. She actually found a condom outside and ate it and I was pulled out of her butt. But, and that was just that. Eh. But I actually, I was like, my mama's dog. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Like an idiot. Like an idiot. So, and, and he kind of looked at me like, really, bitch? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. This tastes weird. Man, good thing a lot of the people I chose are nice dudes slash grown healed men because, or I hope they've healed now, because if not, I'd be dead. I'd be dead, as I should be. I deserve everything. Look, if you ever hear on the news, woman was beaten to death. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, out of the condom. And I felt for him that day. I did. I was like, that is. And I feel like I do, I do wish there was some type of law to where it protected you from crazy. Like, if she did get pregnant with that, you could go to um court and be like yeah, i didn't want this baby this technically ain't my baby like it is but everybody always says well, if you lie down with the person then that's your responsibility i don't agree with that all the time it's too many crazy bitches and crazy men out there oh, are you sleeping i don't know if the baby should be in here with it, uh for this because they're going to be listening to dirty stuff all right we're going to go through this pretty quick i think I think, oh, I have to pee again. I've had the pee pees because of all the co uh, coffee I've been drinking. The next one is the Chapel of Anticipation or for play, not for kids. Hold on. Here, Brunhilde. Okay. <laughs> Liv? No, I don't trust you not to eat it. I am cooking. I also got an incense burning too because I've been um, trying to make the house not smell like a dog, a piece of dog shit. Okay. Now I'm going pretty fast, but most of us are grown adults that know how to have sex. And if you've never had sex, there's no shame in that. So if you have any questions, just let us know. 
Is that is that still working? I think so. Okay, I hope it's still working. But um, I'm moving through this pretty fast because one, it's three o'clock, and two, I'm an hour late for class, and two, I don't know how much juice this has because I'm surprised this thing is even working right now. Um, but anyway, on to foreplay. So this is our friend. I should go get, we'll use the sword. That way we don't get in trouble. This is our friend, Billy. Billy, can I bang you? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, she's, she's soft-spoken, but you could hear her. What if she did have a, oh, I thought if I poked her, she'd have a voice. I don't know. Um, she is a sex doll. And side note, I would recommend this sex doll. It is very anatomically accurate for only $30. I just wish she had more body parts and I thought she'd be bigger. But if you only got $30 and you are suffering, get a Billy. I recommend a Billy. She's disabled, but I heard disabled bitches pussy is some of the best pussy out there. I, as long as it's consensual, who cares? Um, but anyway, so. There's this, remember what we looked up last year? I think we were on YouTube and I think they do, but I'm scared to get one from Tamu. I feel like it might come with semen in it. I'm scared. Okay. Remember what we looked up last year on, um, but while we were doing this on YouTube and it was glamor, the 21 sex tips. And my sex tip to you is don't get it from a fucking, um, don't get it from a fucking magazine because they give horrible tips like put a donut on his dick and then bite around the donut and then lick off the sugar, which is how you get a yeast infection or how you accidentally bite his dick off. What if you're a hungry bitch like me? I love donuts. I love donuts. If your dick gets in the way of my donut, your dick is in my stomach and not in the best way. So I, I clicked that I have it again this up here, the 21 new things you should try. Uh, some of them are okay, like relive your best moments. Start outside the bedroom by like texting. This is foreplay. So when you do foreplay, it's before the sex. That's why I call it the Chapel of Anticipation from Elden Ring. Um, it's before the sex, so you want to get your partner ready. And the best way to get your partner ready is to start outside the bedroom. Tell them, text them and be like, you're so fucking hot. I want to bang you. You don't have to be weird. You could lead into it, but if they, if they, if you don't know this person, you've never spoken to this person, um, maybe don't do that first. Maybe meet the person the right way. Um, but if you know this person and you guys have know have had sex before, or you know you're about to fuck, start outside of the bedroom. That way, it gets them excited for inside the bedroom or the car. Okay, talk dirty now. Make sure your partner's into talking dirty. I couldn't have a whole conversation with you and talk about my groceries and talk about everything and the new anime I watched. And some people wanna be silent. So make sure you guys are on the same vibe because if somebody is silent with me while I'm trying to give you a whole conversation, I'll be like, damn, I wonder if he's irritated. Nine times out of 10, yes, he wants you to shut the fuck up. But say that, be like, I really don't speak like that. Okay, that's fine and I respect that. Arch Nemesis was really into talking dirty and it was awesome. He was great at it, but he wasn't overly because he was calm. Um, here's one that's exciting, though. Heat things up. Try dripping warm wax on each other's bodies or use a warming lube like the one that guy shoved into my butt to try to make anal sex with me. And then it burned my asshole because you don't use warming lube inside of your butt. Yes, I love these. Do a little dance. So never use a magazine, but do a little dance. Um, it says, it says, put on the, the song Anything by Rihanna. Oh, the song's not anything. Put on a Rihanna song. Dance. Like Billy. <laughs> Make foreplay an all day event, which to me is so dumb for real adults because most of us have jobs. So if you're sitting here trying to text me how much you want to fuck me at work, that's cool and all, but like now I'm horny at work and now I'm pissed off because I got 12 hours left to go. So maybe don't do that. Do the unexpected. Light candles. Make a sex playlist. Tell each other how you feel unless one person doesn't have those same feelings and that's going to be awkward. 
Thank you. A lot of us are too awkward for these things. Act out of fantasy. There's nothing wrong with fantasies. Don't kiss. Glamour's uh, advice is don't kiss uh, like a prostitute. I don't kiss. I'm the OG ho. Would you expect me to? Get a massage. Watch a sexy movie. Read. Find a sexy story. Uh, mime each other's moves. Okay, we don't have to keep going. There was one on here that was crazy. Oh, act like strangers. Pretend you don't know each other. And, and then rape. I mean, these magazines never give you good ideas. They give you one or two okay ones, and the rest are fucking crazy. Like, role play is fine. Oh, I got to check the food now. But um, for most of these, it's something that could either end up dangerous or something that could end up stupid or embarrassing you and that you're never, they're never going to want to have sex with you again. So if I were you, I would just pick, you could read it and, and be like, okay, that's interesting. But if it seems like it's something out of this world, thank you. It would be. What if it's like them rape, it looks like a rape fantasy type of thing. Like, why would you do that? Why would you pretend that you were strangers? Let me go check the food. You can sit next to, you can look at Billy. Billy's beautiful. Or let me go turn off their food, actually, because I know it's done. I can smell it burning, and it's kind of burning my nose. Oh, the whole downstairs, and my heat's out. Liv, did you fuck my shit up? I'm exhausted of you. Why do you do this? You're not getting any. You're not getting any. Oh, it's smoky. You hurt my feelings when you tear up my shit, shit all over my house, and then break my stuff. Look, it's burned. Yay. Okay, we're just going to leave it there. Should we just leave it in the oven? Oh, I got the thingy on. You want to leave it? In, do you want a piece of apple? I can give you a piece of apple, Liv. You hurt my feelings. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Use your strength, Donna. You're strong. You're strong. You're strong. I'm scared. You're strong. I wish I had a husband. Oh, is it hot? Yes. Duh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Ah! Ah! Why is it doing that? Okay. That's dumb. That's weird. Why did it do that? Oh, I burned that. Let me give you a piece of apple. You can have a piece of apple. There's nothing wrong with getting pieces of apples and treats and stuff. There's something wrong with throwing poo poo in my house. It's mean, Liv. You hurt mommy's feelings. And I was just talking about how much of a good girl you were. And then you go and you shit from the floor. Here. I love you. You don't want it? Uh-uh. Let's go upstairs and give a sissy some. Come on. You got some more. Let's go upstairs and give sissy some. Okay. Sorry, I had to take the food out. An apple? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, the I only have one oven mitt. There you go. Oh my eye! I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it! Here you go. <laughs> Are we? Are we super? Um, I hope we're not super lagged. If we are, I can turn it off and turn it back on. So make sure you guys let me know. Here. Did you hear me apologizing to Liv? God, she's such a shit. She's such a shit, but she makes me go insane. And I can't hurt my baby. But God, if I don't daydream about throwing her against the fucking wall, I'm not going to do it. I swear to God, I'd never do it. But I think about it. Okay, thank you. It happens to me randomly. So, oh, I'm going to take my floofs off. There we go. Sucky sucks. Okay, I'm going to keep this on for the stream and just put my, uh, my for the Neo stream and put my waist trainer on. Uh, to, I was going to make, <laughs> I tried to get the ingredients to make peanut butter protein cookies with chocolate chips, but what I ended up getting was peanut butter, I mean peanuts, cashews, and you, know, you can do the color test, and chocolate chips, and I put them in a bowl and ate them. I didn't even get to the peanut butter part because I was being fat. 
Oh, and broccoli. Yeah, you can do the color test. Let me know when you're ready. Ah, what's in your eye? Boogers. <laughs> Stop, sorry. Yes. Liv, stop. Liv, move your fucking tail. Move your, why don't you sit in a chair? What's the down button for? Pink. Go ahead. Up in the thing. Pink. Go up there. Go up there. Liv, I'm not doing this. Here. All the way. Ugh. What are you crying for? Just get up there. Yeah, the other guy said there was no delay. I wonder if I, I wish I could see. I can't see because I'm on my phone. Stop. Just sit down. Stop slapping Brunhilda. Sit. We're trying to have a class. You're going to get kicked out. You want to get out? Okay. Let me go. Liv, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. Yes, you're wonderful. I'm ignoring you. Okay, anyway, so now, now that we have what not to do for foreplay, like burn wax on each other or put donuts on each other's dicks, um, let's just give you some basic guides or a basic guide to men and women foreplay. For all of you others out there, you have to come up with your own guide. I only know men and women, so we're going with them. If you're a squirrel and you want squirrel foreplay, you're going to have to come up with something on your own. But you can still use these and apply it to you. So remember, everything we do here is over the age of 25. I guess over the age of 18 is legal, but I only touch over the age of 25. Okay? No teeth. As a rule, most people don't like teeth. I do know some people that like their clitoris, clitori, clitorises gently grazed with teeth like so gently like like gently gently like a balloon static gentle wait balloon is static is rough something like that yes teeth is horrible okay you I, I think we're much better now um also but there's some men that also i've had some men be like slowly graze the tip of it with your teeth and i'm like my teeth I have too many teeth in my fucking mouth. I'm going to fuck your shit up. Like, it's just, it's just so many in there. There's not, I, I honestly, I want to start a GoFundMe for my mouth. So, because I really want the mouth surgery done because I have too many teeth in my mouth and I'm constantly chewing and they're all pushed to the back. That's why the front are wide because they're all pushed to the back and they hurt all the time. But I want to start a GoFundMe for giving Diamond the ability to give better head because my teeth hinder my ability to give better head because I'm always biting it. And I feel like people would support that. <laughs> I do. Because my this shit hurts. Like it hurts all the time. So when I'm giving head, it 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 hurts. I almost feel like I'm chewing on them. Like and I feel bad. And the guys are like, they're like it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I just have too many in there. There's nowhere for them to go. I need to get my wisdom, both sets of wisdom teeth taken out. And I think at the top, I still have some baby teeth back there that never left. Like, uh, yes, I do. I have a, a significant overbite. Like, I can put my pinky in there. Like a chipmunk. I have a significant one. So if anybody wants to donate, oh, you're like my sister finding out she was deaf. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that's loud. That was mean of me. That was mean of me. So her whole life we were bullying her, calling her huh. Because <laughs> she couldn't hear. We didn't know she couldn't hear. And nobody told us she couldn't hear. Okay, so a general guide for men. The head, tongue. You Make sure you focus on the head or tip. No teeth except for the few that want it. Remember, we're going with the rule, not the exceptions to the rule. Just because you're the exception doesn't mean you know, you need to be counted. You can, you can count yourself. Okay. Some people like teeth, but most don't, uh, pay attention to the balls. Where are my balls? 
I don't have any balls, but imagine this is the balls. While you're sucking the dick, and I did the on the Build a Bitch Mini how to do it. While you're sucking the dick, fondle the balls. Even suck the balls. Some men like when you suck one whole ball into your mouth. And then, like, gently, though, don't, like, it's a fucking um, uh, popsicle or bubblegum. Like, don't, don't do that. Um, some men do like that really rough, though. There are certain men that like it just, just, they, they basically just say, tear my shit up. And, you know, for some people, that's them. But most people, they want you to be really gentle until you get to the end when you're sucking it out of it. Once they come and you suck it after so you can get all the drops, then you can be a little bit more rough. No, never, never. Also, lick the taint and you swirl. Now, some people like some people like pinkies in the butt. Talk about that beforehand if they like it. While you're shut up, Rune Hilda, you don't know. Uh, while <laughs> while you're giving them head, if they're standing up, reach your hand around and make sure you have a lubed pinky, not with spit, but with actual lube. Make sure his butthole is lubed and. You can finger the butthole at the same time. That will make him scream. Um, once you get a man to lift his legs, you know that you've done something right. Then they'll then they'll try to they'll deny that for the rest of their life. I never li I didn't lift my fucking legs. Oh, okay. Um, but you know, I'm not telling nobody's business. Um, pay attention to nipples. Men have nipples too. They have them and they like them sucked and licked. And kiss. I don't kiss, but most people do kiss because most people are not weird and or prostitutes. I don't like drool. I don't like mouth stuff. I don't even like people to go down on me, unless it's a woman, but I really don't like people to go down on me because it's spit in their mouth. I don't like spit. That's nasty. Um, now for women, I wish I could show you Billy's parts, but I don't want to get in trouble on Twitch. So for women, um, but but if you go to Patreon, there are um, there's a whole video showing me or showing you how to give fellatio properly. Is it called fellatio? No, kind of ling -a -ling -a uh, Properly on Billy, I believe. Somebody said it was taken down, but I think it's still up there. Because nobody told me that it was taken. Nobody else told me it was taken down. Well, actually, I can check. I can check right here. I'm going to see. Because it was educational. All my stuff is educational. I'm only doing this to teach you guys how to do it right. Like, there's no reason in the world that I should be sitting here saying, I don't like when any man goes down on me because they all do it wrong. Now, I'm a particularly sensitive individual down there, but there's a lot of people that, oh, that's fucking hilarious. There's a lot of people that just don't care. Like, I get it in my comment section all the time. Once I got mine, fuck them. This is why you don't get laid twice. Then you run around like, somebody fuck me. Well, if you cared about your partners, they would fuck you again. Uh, let me see if I can see it. I'm curious. I'm curious as to if this works. Some people, um, some people like their nipples suck. Some people don't. If you're like me, one of my nipples has very little feeling in it. And the other one of my nipples is overly sensitive. Well, I told you one side of my body doesn't work. Like I had a stroke as a baby. I wonder if I did. I could have. I could have been stroke, baby. Okay, let's see. I'm just trying to see if the videos. No, oh, that could have. It could have been from drugs. Could have been from drugs. Let's see what this says. Why are you being a cunt? Oh no, it's still up there. Yeah, build a bitch mini sex ed is still up there. Do you think I'm gonna see if I could put that on YouTube too? I put it on the other YouTube, but I want to see if we get in trouble or not before I put it on Build a Bitch YouTube, because it's really just educational, period. Also, some people like to be fucked on their periods. Not me, but some people do. Okay, um, when you, when, we also went over this on Patreon, but I'm gonna use Billy, okay? So pretend my fingers are going inside of Billy. Whoever told you to do this, and whoever told you to do this, is a dumb dumb. Uh, they made that up because they didn't know what they were doing. And some dumb woman sat there and said, I like this so good. And lied because they were a dumb woman. And a dumb dude sat there and said, yeah, this is great. And then told every other dumb dude that it, that's how you do it. That's not how you do it. All you have to do, it's called a come hither motion. Because the G spot, I think, is like, if it's like up. 
like right there in her hip. So, whoop, whoop. And you can go, if, you, if you're talented, you got strong wrists, you can go really, really, really fast. If you're not that talented, just go slow and swoop. Do a swoop, do a swoop, do a swoop. Like, ridiculous. Um, same with men, nipples, kissing, sucking, all of that fun stuff too. So you want to use the whole body. My, um, my, ana my favorite analogy to use for any type of sex from intercourse all the way, or from, from the chapel of anticipation, all the way to Radagon, the, the finisher, the finale, uh, pretend that you are playing Elden Ring and you have a PlayStation 5 controller. Let me get my controller. Okay. This is the best analogy I've ever come with because, I mean, come with, haha, <laughs> come up with, because most of us are gamers here. We're on Twitch. We're gaming. Um, okay. If I'm playing maybe, I don't know, you can't even play Tekken and Soul Calibur like that, but you could kind of get away with it. If I'm playing maybe Soul Calibur, Soul Edge, the old Soul Calibur with, um, the, the controller. You could square, square, triangle, and move your little joystick a little bit. And you, or your, I don't think they had joysticks back then. Wasn't it just directional keys? I can't remember. Anyway, um, you, just, you just use a couple buttons and blah, blah, blah. But if sex is Elden Ring, you can't just square, square, triangle your way to victory. You can't. You'll never make it out of Limgrave. So what you got to do is use the whole controller. You just have to, you got to go from, you need the map. There's, let's say this is the neck. You need the map. These are the nipples. You need the start buttons and the, uh, the broadcast buttons. You need um, the directional buttons. You need to know how to hit your, your health. Uh, what button was this? Jump, how to speed, how to double hit, um, how to hard hit, how to block. Like, oh, that's funny. Uh, that's stupid. You need to use your joystick. You need to use the whole controller. Think of the body as the controller and the sex is Elden Ring, the video game. Use the whole body. Suck the nipples all the way to the toes. Uh, lick, the, lick the taint. Uh, suck the balls. Do everything. Suck the clitoris gently. And then also communicate with your partner so you know or so they know or you know what they like and what they don't like. It's simple once you get used to doing it. That's why I'm so open about the sexual experiences. You shouldn't be scared of it. Y'all being afraid of sex and being afraid that, oh, shit, I'm going to do something wrong is what's making you bad in bed. The best people in bed are the most confident people. Then they, they might not be actually confident, but they fake their confidence so well that there you go. Okay. Now, now that we went, before we get into actual sex, actual intercourse, we're going to go over STDs. This is my favorite part. Favorite part is STDs. Because I never got any STDs. How do you prevent STDs, everybody? Condoms. Or screening your partners. Actually, both. Because I don't think condoms prevent... I'm not sure all the way if condoms prevent herpes. I believe they do. But let's say you're having sex. This is like a one in a bajillion chance. But knowing our luck, it could be you. Let's say they happen to have herpes and you're using protection, but maybe one of their herpes sores happens to be like up here and you push into each other and it busts and it gets on you and you have an open wound. As I said, a one in a bajillion chance, then you could get it like that. But condoms protect against any other herpes incident and everything else. So unless you're that one in a bajillion chance person, which you might be, um, just use protection and screen your partners. And be honest about what you have. Be really honest. Some people have bacterial vaginosis. Some people have HIV. Nowadays, almost anything is manageable with medical intervention. Public, you can't get herpes from a toilet. Most people that say they get herpes from a toilet are lying because they cheated. That's a cheater's lie. We've all lied about some dumb shit. That is commonly a cheater's lie. I told you. Uh, someone I know, their girlfriend lied and said she got trichomoniasis from a toilet. And me and some other people said, huh? How the fuck did you? Yes, that's a myth. That's a myth. That's a cheater's lie. Cheater lie cheaters often, cheaters that get STDs lie and say they pick, got them from public toilets. But no public toilet is just care. I think herpes or any STD only lasts like a couple hours in the air anyway. 
So, I mean, I guess again, maybe if you're that one in a million person who's herpes pimple busted, and then immediately the next person sat on the toilet and they had a cut on their butt, maybe you got it. But other than that, that's pretty much a myth. It's okay though. Um, so they they cut they classify bacterial vaginosis here as an STD. I don't think it's an STD. It is a bacterial infection though. Um, it's an overgrowth of bacteria, uh, and that comes from, like we said last week, poor diet, poor exercise, not enough water, and too tight underwear. That's a yeast infection, but the same thing. Um, not cleaning properly. It's a lot of different things that go into it. What you eat, and um, sometimes you just have an over overproduction of yeast and or bacteria, so you have to f do things in your body to prevent that or to um, to counter that. Okay, so they have chlamydia, or is it going to make me click all of them? Okay, we'll just go through them. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, herpes, AIDS, HPV, which you which is like the kissing disease. Um, trichomoniasis, syphilis, infertility. Really? Oh, STDs can cause infertility, but I guess infertility caused by an STD would be as an STD. That's weird. And whatever MGen, MGen is. Oh, and it can be treated with, oh, I've never heard of that. They put a new one on there in 2022. Isn't that cool? Never heard of that. They got new ones. Um, most of these are curable other than HIV and genital herpes. I think the rest of them are curable with a shot, a pill, or a... Uh, uh, have some problems, you're itching down there, just go there and go to your free clinic and be like, look, I don't, I might have been with somebody. You need to be getting tested anyway. I think you should be getting tested once every, if you're actively having sex, I feel like you should, what does it say? You should be getting tested. What does it say? It doesn't say. Once a year for some, oh, if you have, if you only have one partner once a year, if you have multiple partners every three to six months, um, I know an escort, she got tested every single month. She still had sex unprotected. I don't know. I don't know. It's none of my business. That's her business. That's what she did with her life. Um, okay. And then some physical symptoms of some STDs. They work? Nope. Every time. Every time I try. Mm, my eyes itch. My eyes have been burning me today. Probably because sleepy or probably because I set the, um, if I had a smoke alarm, it would have went off, but I don't have one. Okay. Ba 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 Some physical symptoms of STDs. Stop and just do what I want you to do. You're not going to do it? You are going to do it. Anyway, sores or bumps on your genitals, painful burning, painful or burning urination. You know most of this. Discharge from the penis or vagina. Uh, unusual or odorous vaginal discharge. Oh, that's the same thing. Unusual vaginal bleeding. Pain during sex. Because sometimes the STD can manifest all the way up in there. It doesn't always manifest on the outside. And you can't see on the inside of the vagina or on the inside of the penis. Swore, sore soul and lymph nodes up here or even in the groin um i think you have more lip nodes over here under here if all of those are sore and swollen you just had sex with somebody you don't know get tested um lower abdominal pain fever rash over here the hands or the feet or you could have got a hand foot and mouth that means that your partner was dirty um uh parasites bacteria and viruses there you go those are your your std symptoms and everybody is at risk who's having sex, even if it's protected. I would still just get tested every three to six months. Yeah, the body naturally produces some yeast. All people's body, I know dog bodies do. I think all people's body parts, their genitals produce like us, I don't know, because uh, they, I don't know. We have bacteria in our stomach for a variety of different reasons. Our, our genitals have the same thing. It's just one of those things, but you don't want an overproduction of it. Or if somebody else's yeast 
gets into your yeast, it gets, it doesn't mesh well. But yeah, we all have, but we have bacteria and yeast and different things all over our body. It's the overproduction of it that causes the problems. It's just something everybody, like it doesn't just come out of nowhere. It's something everybody's born with. Okay. Now we're going to have sex. Yay, intercourse. Pretty much. And honestly, for some people, they just, their body, and you can actually tell this by their scent. This is a thing that women can do, and I think men can do it too. You can tell by your partner's scent if they don't mesh well, if their body makeup doesn't mesh well with you. And that sounds like bullshit. But there was this study going around where this guy, where this doctor was having women who had a certain blood type sniff the body odor of, um, uh, different men, like with different blood types that sweated and the ones that she was not like into, she, um, were, was unable to breed with. So if your partner just, even if they don't stink, but they just smell off, they just might not be the one for you. Your body and your yeast and your bacteria might not mesh well. And that's okay. It's a million people in the, it's like 8 billion people, half of them are kids. So, uh, uh the other half of that is adults. So there's at least 2 billion people for you to fuck. You might just need to get out of your area if you're not able to get laid. That's my recommendation to everybody. Now, now we can go into intercourse, which is my favorite part next to STDs. I like freaking people out, but. Mm. 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 Also, the biggest, the most important um, consequence of STD of, of unprotected sex is, t uh, children. And that's just basically a 20 year STD. You will have to pay for it for 20 years. And now in this economy, it'll probably have to live with you for 50 years. So if you want a 50 year STD, go ahead and have unprotected sex. Um, some tips before we, before me and Billy get into it, um, go in with confidence, stop putting pussy and penis on a pedestal. If you're nervous, that's okay. But if you are, um, if, if you're going in there like they're so great and I suck and I'm not good enough for them, you're going to have a bad time. You're going to ruin your own time. Be free. Don't move mechanically like a robot. Some, I don't have rhythm, but I still just relax. Um, also make sure you pick your right partner. It's an exchange of energy. So she just, she's jiggly. It's weird. Um, it's a, it's an exchange of energy. So if somebody like me, the succubus is a bad guy and wants to take your energy from you and you might not believe in it, but okay. Um, there's a lot of people that are walking around exhausted because of their, are you my, are you my prostitute baby? Oh my God. She would, she actually looks like a prostitute baby, which is horrible. That's a horrible thing. I look like, you know what I look like? I look like the baby mama in the ghetto with the whole baby. Don't I? Wait, I'm just making another one of me. I'm sorry. I used to I used to do drugs with people like that, so I, I'm allowed to I'm allowed to judge. Um, and then come with good intentions. Respect each other. No, participate. Sex is a group project. Nobody wants to be in the in the group project with somebody that doesn't do anything. Nobody wants a pillow princess or a pillow prince unless they say they do. Unless you're in like a dom sub relationship. And some people want their sub not to do anything or some doms just want to be pleased. One of those things. Okay. Most people, though, they want active participation. Um, try different things. Build up your stamina. Have a discussion outside of the bedroom. Um, what you want to do. Don't be weird. Don't surprise them with shit. Be kind. Be courteous. Practice safe words. Like I would ask her, hey, what's your safe word? And she could say pineapple, or she could say, we use a color method, red light, green light, yellow light. I don't have to pay attention to the other light. Um, and red means stop everything, green means go ahead, and yellow means go slower. So, uh, na, 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 na. okay. I want to do the different positions. So, we're going to do some different positions. We're not going to do all the ones we did before because um, some of them I noticed nobody in the world is going to do them. Nobody in the world is going to do the 69 bridge. I kind of want to try it maybe one day. But for the sake of time, 
we're gonna we're just gonna give the the basic positions and two or three advanced ones. So we've got um, uh, remember to smoothly transition. Oh, I know, right? I know, right? Look at that. Look at all that. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I had definitions in my abs too, but but I just ate nuts, giggity, and of course I ate nuts on sex day day and chocolate. I ate chocolate nuts. I have a question since y'all got questions. How come the darker your skin color, the darker your nut isn't? Like, how come you don't nut chocolate? I think that would be fucking awesome. I would make cookies with that. Then again, I guess your spit would have to be chocolate too. I feel like God could God could have done that. He missed a prime opportunity to do something cool. Like the the white people could nut vanilla and the black people could nut chocolate. That'd be like Willy Wonka's whole chocolate factory. That would be amazing. And he fucked up. He didn't think of that. I would have done that. Anyway, sorry. Okay. So if you're if you're doing different positions and you're putting your partner in different positions, make sure you smoothly transition between them. Don't start missionary and then step on her face. That's not gonna work like that. Um, lubrication matters. Tight and dry is unaroused. Um, wet and slightly loose is, or, or it's still going to be snug because it's a vagina, but wet and slightly loose is the way you want to go in. But if it's tight and not allowing you in there, there's a couple of women that just have small, there's some women, like some women are born with smaller vaginas, some women born with bigger ones, but, um, generally they're all snug ish. So, or snug. So, um, you never want one like, like her. Where if you go inside of her because she doesn't have any lube because she's a doll, um, it you get stuck, your finger gets stuck and it won't come out. Like that's that's a bad thing. That means you, she's not horny. Um, same with the butt, lots of lubrication. Use toys, handcuffs, dildos. Dildos don't vibrate, by the way, and vibrators are for stimulation, just so you know. And you can put cock rings on, or you can put you can there's something called sounding. It's a little thin tube and you put it inside your your, your penis urethra. And then it makes you last longer. They saw they used to show that on um, on the internet back in the early two thousands. I have to pee again. You can't go with me to pee. I always wondered if that hurt. I, I always wanted to know if it hurt. I've, I've never nobody's ever told me if that really hurt or not. So ow. And then we're gonna do. I'm gonna move the thing so we can do the different positions.
No, one thing. Oh, I'm going to get my extra cup of coffee, too. Nobody told me with this all-protein diet that I would be shitting all over the fucking place, right? Well, and, and giant, don't you dare! I knew you were shoving down. Thank you for being gentle. Thank you for being gentle. Here, you guys can come with me while I get coffee. You can come with me while I get coffee. I'll be right back. It's not going to be too much longer. I might save tantric sex for just a build a bitch mini. Because I want to do more research on tantric sex. But there's not a lot. There's one weird guy. And how come every time it's a motherfucking like thing about like Hindu or something cool, ain't no Indians doing it. It's always some random white dude. And I'm cool with the random white people. I just want to know where the Indians are. Because I feel like. It would be great to get it from the Indian fucking perspective, too. They keep, oh, shit, your potatoes. They keep giving me random white dude perspective. Where's the Indians? It's 2.3 billion of them. How come I can't find any on YouTube? All they do is teach math. Like, where, I need them to teach me some of their culture stuff. I'm curious. But it's always this random work I got. Okay. Uh, tendric six. Uh, you do this. I think this means, like, can I get an Indian that knows what that means? Not a random white guy that thinks he knows. I just want to know. I get some stuff doesn't translate. Uh, here, you want another piece of apple, mama? Shiza. Here, baby. Your mommy, baby? Yeah. We gotta give Haley hers upstairs. We can't leave her out. And I've got more chicken for you. Sometimes, Liv, sometimes you make me want to kill you. But other times, most of the time, I love you. Mommy's probably going to go to bed extra early tonight. She's lying. She's going to get on me, yo. Oh, shit. I forgot y'all can still hear me. Oh, shit. I mean, everything I said about the Hindus. I like them. Shit. Why don't you go live on Instagram while you drive? Well... You know, because it's not a good idea. All right, come on, Nipskin. You cannot have this apple. It is for Brunhilde. You ate yours. Don't you steal her shit? That would be the last thing you do. You want this apple, baby? You don't want it? Oh! Is it too big for you? You don't want it? Oh, what you want? What you want? Chicken? You want some chicken? Hold on. That's not like Brunhilde to not eat. Y'all just saw an epic moment. Is my baby okay? Wait a minute. Let me get you a real treat. Maybe you'll eat that. If you're not eating, you must be sick. That's weird. That's weird. Not the one I like. No offense, Liv, but like, let me make sure. You want this one? You want that? Oh, okay. You just want some meat. Oh, it, mommy too, baby. We all on high protein diets here, mamas. You made me nervous a little bit. All right. Sorry, she made me nervous. I've never seen Brunhilde not eat. Huh? No, I don't have a cool Indian dude on my Instagram. No. No. So I was looking up tantric sex, right? Thank you, Jesus. You fucking up my light, though. I was looking up tantric sex, and I looked it up last year, and just the same shit. All I can find is this one dude. I can, I, there's a couple dudes. Then there's a God. It really is like God is going, hey, um, God, you got some potatoes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up, boo? Um, they're hungry. But y'all, your food is cooling down and you're not supposed to eat yet anyway. Um, you eat in about two hours. You're not supposed to eat yet. Who you talking to? What you want? Um, well, I can't ever find any like Indian teaching me tantric sex stuff. It's an Indian concept. Where the Indians teaching? It's fine for the white guy to teach it. I'm cool with that. I just also wanted to see the Indian concept because a lot of times there's stuff that's lost in translation. And I personally feel like if it was a couple Indians teaching it on YouTube too, just as well as they teach fucking math and space shuttle shit, I would be appreciative of that. I want to hear the culture 
from the people in the damn culture. It's nothing wrong with a Russian person teaching me Chinese, but I feel like if a Chinese person teaches it to me, you know, that would also, that there's a lot of cultural nuances that w would be lost in the Russian. Get it? And same with tantric sex. It doesn't matter rhyme or reason. It doesn't matter day or season. Cause all I really know is that I'm a Victoria's Secret model now. Oh, truth. I really liked that um that Victoria's Secret thing you sent me. I really liked that. Did you see that I send you that one? That that one was weird. Did you see the man that called me the sexiest earthworm? Uh-uh, we're not doing this. You either doing that or you getting out. Okay, you can sit there, but you're messing up. You want to? Oh, you coming up here? Come on, come on, come on! You're gonna share this with your mother. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. There was the one that called me the world's sexiest earthworm, and I was like, okay. I think Heidi Klum is the world's sexiest earthworm. There, she did a hurt an earthworm. Uh, mommy, feed our ticklish. Don't do that. What do you want? I do love you. Liv gets in trouble every other day. And then I feel bad. At the end of the night, though, y'all don't see this. At the end of the night, just so y'all know, Liv runs up in my bed, snuggles up to me, and lays her head in my baby. I mean, in my baby, in my, in my chest. Because just like she used to when she was a baby. And we fall asleep like that. Until she gets up, she gets too hot, and she runs down. Or if I fart, and remember, Hilda fart, and she goes, God. <laughs> Um, you want to know what's funny? I know this. I know a lot of sex workers that talk, have the same opinion as I'm about to have. The weirdest and or scariest sexual experiences a lot of sex workers have, especially if they're of any color, will be white American or white English or white Australian men. For whatever reason, the English language and the white straight, the, with like, uh, and they're always about 45 to, to 59. They have a wife and three kids and they're like Christian pastors. That, that man, and the Republican, that man is into the freakiest, evilest, weirdest, wildest, demonic, freaky shit. Every time. Well, maybe not every time. 99% of the time. Liv, you're a big dog. I got a boo-boo again. Oh, my God. I got this shit. So sorry. Um, uh, but so it's, it's, and it's weird. I don't know why. It's not the other races in the country. It's just that specific demographic. You could never figure out why. But I know a lot of sex, sex, uh, sex workers that talk about that, too. God, I got a headache. Okay. And an eye ache. Oh, okay. Are you ready to get into the, um, I need to open the window because my eyes are burning. Only thing, you know, there's no benefit to having light eyes at all because they are sensitive. No, uh-uh, they've been, they, my eyes, are, it could be. But I think it's a, the eyeball headache. They, they're sensitive. They burn all the time. Certain light, smells, smoke, random shit. My mama said, it's because my eyes are a different color than everybody else's. And I looked at her. I said, whose fault is that? I don't know. No. Okay. Can you move over there? Okay. So, hi, buddy. How are you? So now we're going to go into some different positions. And I'm going to be the man. And she's going to be the girl for most of them okay i wish she had legs welcome to build a bitch workshop same person if you're waiting for the video games that'll be a little bit later uh right now we're going over sex ed and how to how to please yourself and your partner i'm a teacher I'm a okay so i need y'all to be able to see me the ladies y'all are gonna have to get out for this one this is adult eyes only i put that also on the thing it sure did. Let's see if we get it to go viral this time. It doesn't have to go viral. We just want to be able to get paid to just do this. I would still groom Bella and Vinny and Mia. <laughs> if I had to stop, if I really had to stop, I would. But I would cry. 
All right, ladies, out. You got to get out. This is adult class. Your children. You have to. And you see, people are like, you know, you discipline your dogs too rough. Clearly. Get out, please. Get the fuck out. Leave. They're doing a great job listening. Can you go? Please, can you go? Okay, so Oscar's giving. Get the fuck out, get out. Let's go, ugh. One, don't come back in here. Bring Hilda go, come on, come on. No, don't come back in. I will put you back in here in a minute, stay. Y'all can go on mommy bed, even though you, you already shit on my bed. Do you hear me when she shit on my bed? And then she's running away from me while Brunhilda's attacking her. I'm going to record that for y'all one day, though, what Brunhilda does to her when she gets in trouble. Like, Brunhilda will punish her that she's... Ugh. Not, oh, it might be me. I might have to turn it off and turn it back on. I always have electrical. They, they, can, uh, they, can, they can stalk me all they want to. If they want to. Okay. They are welcome in my house at any time. Come on, stalkers. Give me, give me all your energy. I got I sleep with chainsaws and my dogs are starving. And I've been waiting for a motherfucker to eat. I'm gonna finish my coffee though. Are we good or do I have to turn off and um Oh, I have to turn me off and turn me back on. So, let me turn me off. I'll turn me back on. You might have to come back in. I don't know why it does this sometimes. Ready? Bye.